السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Math Grade 3 First Term 2021 Chapter 1 Lesson 3 Measuring Lens Pages 21 up to 28 Suppose we're given an object like this pencil and we're asked to measure its length in centimeters. To do that, we need some method or device that will tell us how many centimeters long the pencil is. Remembering that a centimeter is roughly the width of a pinky finger, I could just use my finger as that device and see how many finger widths it takes to get from one end of the pencil to the other, but something a little more accurate would be nice. In math and science, a ruler is a flat piece of material that has markings on it that correspond to standard units of distance. For example, this ruler has a series of markings that correspond to inches on one side and centimeters on the other. That's cool, we'll just ignore the inches side and use the centimeter side for this measurement. We start by moving the ruler so that the zero centimeter mark is aligned as closely as we can with one end of our pencil. Then we'll see where the other end of the pencil lies on the scale of centimeters. Looking at the numbers, you can see that the other end lines up nicely with the 19 centimeter mark. So this pencil is 19 centimeters long. For more understanding, let's go to solve some exercises. Exercise number one, estimate the length in centimeter. You can use your ruler, yes, to estimate rightly. Okay, our eraser will be, put the zero on the start of this rubber, and it ends at four, then it's about four centimeters long. This pencil, Put your ruler beginning from zero and the count up to yes, ten. It's about ten centimeters long. With sandwich, put your ruler starting from zero and it's about nine centimeters long. And your benchmark, put your ruler starting from zero and it's about yes, ten centimeters long. Okay low-tech devices that are commonly used to measure longer distances. For example, a tape measure is sort of a long, flexible ruler that can be wound up on a spool to make it more compact. It's a really handy device and carpenters use them all the time. When you unwind it, you can measure much longer distances in the same way you would with a ruler. And it's a lot more convenient than carrying around a 10-meter stick. Now for more understanding for meter and measurements, Let's go to solve exercise number four, estimate the length in meter. We have door, train, bus, and an aeroplane. Okay, this door is about three meters high. You can estimate this three high, it will be five meters high. It's about five meters high. This bus, it's about, yes, nine meters long. This plane, this aeroplane, it will be, yes, about 15 meters long. So this pencil is 19 centimeters long. But what if the pencil gets sharpened and then used and sharpened and used again so that it gets shorter? Now if we remeasure it with our ruler, you'll see that we have a small problem. The tip of the pencil doesn't line up with any of the centimeter marks anymore. It lies somewhere between the 17 and 18 centimeter marks. We could just say that it's between 17 and 18 centimeters long, but it would be nice if we could be a little more accurate than that. Being more accurate means making a measurement that is closer to the true value. Fortunately, most rulers divide the space between each centimeter mark into 10 equal parts that represent millimeters, which are exactly one-tenth of a centimeter. Because the millimeter marks are so much smaller, they don't have numbers on them. But if you look closely, you'll be able to count that there are nine smaller lines that divide the centimeter into 10 equal parts. The middle of these nine lines is usually a little longer than the rest so that it's easier to tell where the halfway point is. Using these subdivision marks, we can get a more accurate measurement of the length of our sharpened pencil. Do you see how the pencil's tip almost lines up with the third subdivision line that comes right after the 17 centimeter mark? That means that the length of the pencil is 17 centimeters plus three millimeters. Now we have one centimeter equals yes ten millimeters. Okay, in our work we have one centimeter yes ten millimeters. Two centimeters will be twenty millimeters. Three centimeters will be yes thirty millimeters. Four forty millimeters. Five 
Yes, 15 millimeters. 6, 60 millimeters. 7 would be, yes, 70 millimeters. And 8, 80 millimeters. 9, 90 millimeters. And finally, 10 will be 100 millimeters. To make it easy, let's go to solve some exercises. Number one, complete the following. A, one centimeter equals how many millimeter? Centimeter, millimeters means, yes, 10. Okay, letter B, eight centimeters, how many millimeter? It will be centimeter, millimeter, 10, it will be 80, excellent. 80 millimeters. Okay, let's go to letter D. Seven centimeters. How many millimeters? Mm, seven, ten, seventy. Excellent. Seventy millimeters. Letter F. Ten centimeters. How many millimeters? Twelve B. Yes. Hundred. Excellent. Excellent. One hundred millimeters. Let's go to letter E. 3 cm and 4 mm. It will be, yes, we can't do it without recover the 3 cm to be, yes, mm. 3 cm means it will be 30. And 4 mm will be 4 mm too. It will be 4 and 30. It will be 34. Okay? Letter G, 4 cm and 7 mm. How many mm? Then we need to recover this 4 cm to be mm. Then cm will be 4 cm, 40. And 7 mm will be 72. Okay, 40 plus 7 equals 47. Excellent job. Now let's play another game. Choose a suitable unit for measuring the length, meter or centimeter or millimeter. First play this volleyball your it will be meter or centimeter. Yes, meters. Go to the apple. This high will be meter or centimeter sorry, centimeter or millimeter. Yes, it's tiny, it will be millimeters. Okay. This bird wings. Okay, this lens will be centimeter or millimeter? Yes, centimeter. This pineapple high will be centimeter or millimeter? Yes, centimeter. This giraffe high will be centimeter, sorry, meter or centimeter? Will be, yes, meters. Okay, this uh, Pascal lens will be Meter or centimeter? It will be yes, meters. Now this dot lens will be yes, meter or centimeter or millimeter? Will be centimeter. This this pen will be yes, centimeter or millimeter? Millimeter. And finally, carrot lens will be centimeter or millimeter? It will be centimeters. Thanks for listening and keep safe.